very wet. Well, it'd be better if you just hold it. I can do that. Oh, you don't have to worry about it drying out, I guess, huh? Yeah. And I still got a pack. <laughs> Is it a rough life? It's going to be a crazy heck day, so we're just gonna jump right into it and get started. <sighs> Actually, where to start first? Maybe not hitting the mailbox. So I am going out of town today for some more training um, with our Conklin company that Jason and I have become distributors for. Uh, so I'm going to be gone from the farm for three days. And uh, yeah, we're just trying to get everything lined up for me to be gone. Jason's staying home to wrangle the kids with Carol and take care of cows and just cross my fingers that everything just goes smoothly. It'll probably not. It never does. When one of us is gone, it's something always happens. Always. But today we are going to soil sample several fields and then we are also running to get wet cake to help supplement some of our cows. Yada, yada, yada. not that cold out. It is wet. It's trying to pick out where the broom's edge is because that's probably your lower and forward, the lower and forward. And that's what we're trying to fix. This bottom half doesn't really grow near as good down here. Mm -hmm. So that's one place I want to fix. And if I can fix that, then I'm probably going to do more for the whole farm. Okay. This farm is actually on the back side of the homestead. So it's real close to home. It's where I broke the fertilizer buggy last year. Yeah, see, there's a lot of broom dead right there. Mm -hmm. It's these brown looking patches, right? Like, this is what he's talking about. And we're going to fix it because uh, there's not a whole lot of nutrition value in it, hay-wise. And what's in this field? Huh? What do you have in this field? This is orchard. This is a good Missouri mix. The cost and efficiency of why we spread our own fertilizer. So we do as much of our own stuff as possible. So that means fertilizing, spraying, repairs to keep our operating cost as low as possible. Farming is all about numbers. So it's a good thing you're real handy with everything, huh? <laughs> Mr. Fixer. Not to mention, um, for us, you know, we could be down a couple hours and chase and fix it and we get back to go in. But if you were to send it off somewhere, it'd probably take, what, three to five days to get it back? Mm -hmm. At least, depending on what season it is. The other packets are you just using that? I'm just using this for right now. Be better. He just holds it. I can do that. Oh, you don't have to worry about it drying out, I guess, huh? So the goal is to take five to eight samples or more. Oh, I think we did more than that. 
you want to take a bunch of samples. You don't want to just be like in one corner of the field. You want to have an adequate soil sample so it gets a good range. Because the biggest thing is if you have one low spot, it'll help the whole field, not just in that one low area, right? Sample one done. So this is our alfalfa field and it's been, well, yeah, what's left? So it's trying to come a little bit. So in case you didn't hear him, this is our 40 acres of alfalfa here at the homestead in between our house and his parents' house and where the hay barns are. Um, the plan is to get first cut alfalfa off and then we're going to take out at least half of it, if not more, depending on how the first stand is um, and put in silage corn for our cows. Feed for the cows. Okay, but Plus it's also a rotation. And then after the corn silage comes up, we might be doing a cover crop after we get it off. Mm -hmm. Because you'll take the corn silage off in August. To bale for the following, like right now, this time. And then do corn silage again. Then to help out for maybe, or, or we'll decide where we are by then. Which is a whole year from now. So farming is very much planning for the next month and next year ahead. Like Jason's got this all figured out in his head and it just sometimes blows my mind how we go from having alfalfa to planting next year's crop. Are you going to plant teff this year too here? It's an annual. Look at that. Oh, there's a worm. Got worms. You want worms. That's a good thing. And this is an alfalfa field even better. I bet there's a bunch of worms over at the farm, at the creek farm, where the cows are. Little bitty baby alfalfa makes me happy. Ryder, are you ready to go bailing? Ryder, hey, you ready to go bail? I mean, you got a lot of stand. Well, it's been here, what, seven? Is this the year seven on it? But that's why we are improving our fertility and we're going to go to some other seminars and try some different stuff out to get better fertility. That's where I'm headed later today, actually. This is how you know when you live on a rural, rural side of things. You just park your truck in the middle of the road. Way to go there, slick. <laughs> so this is where the corn's going, right? Oh. I just thought this was not the best alfalfa side. Unless you want to keep that alfalfa. I guess we'll just see what it looks like. So when we get done soil sampling, then what are we going to do? Go get white cake? And that'll be your day? Yeah. And I still got a pack. <laughs> Laundry. And I didn't get up till 6.30. Because you uh, changed my plans. I was planning on working on. Yeah. I was planning on working at home this morning. I didn't know we were soil sampling. Our lack of communication skills, huh? Sometimes happens. More often than not. Ron will be proud. What? You don't have time for what? Okay. We'll see. I just need to get out of here no later than three. So you won't see me today? I'm not, he won't see me till tomorrow. Oh, yeah. Why is that? I don't know. This is the 40, not duck it. <sighs> Change my 
Are you doing north and south 40? What are you doing? Just one? Just the 40? Okay. So we did have cows over here. Uh, we did not bale this a second time through. We left it as a stockpile this past year. Uh, we ran out of days and time frame. But Jason's going to have to come over and pasture harrow. Are you going to soil sample on the hillside over there so we can get that kind of going? Okay. Probably need to seed it. Oh, did you? Okay. There's a puddle of water there. Woo! A little, little spongy. A little spongy. touched together. Sticker bush. Ah, we went from being at the over here to being over here. Yeah. This is us the second year stand of alfalfa. I was a little worried about it, you know. I mean, it's... So you planted this on my birthday, what, in 2019? Yeah. So September 2019, we took off the last cut of teff and we came right in and drilled alfalfa seed no-tilled no it came in and no-tilled alfalfa seed later that day didn't you i mean you were right behind me how many cuts did you get it off of it last year three three four i'd have to go back and look youtube well, the first year's kind of always, alfalfa always grows at each cut. We should make a shirt with like alfalfa field rows. You know, that would be cool if we could figure out how to get it to print right. What you doing? Leo. Are you sleeping? <laughs> Is it a rough life? <laughs> oh, buddy. Are you gonna get up? Hmm? Boy, I miss you while I'm gone. Yes, I will. What do you think, buddy? Hmm? You just chilling? He never just lays down. Sometimes you just need these days. Pony snuggling. You feeling okay, buddy? Hmm? You never just kind of slouch down and chill. Hmm? No? I'm back here! You just gonna chill out in here too? Ryder's gonna watch him. Ryder, you gonna watch him while I'm gone? Huh, buddy? You gonna take care of Leo while I'm gone? You just gonna chill?
He's a good boy. He's smart. Where's my kid up? <laughs> he doesn't quite know what to think. What do you think? No, no. He's just not smelly. Oh, big stretches. Good lord, are you tall enough? <laughs> He's a big boy. Yeah, do you want to go outside? <laughs>